Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, peaceful, blessed day today. Um, it is April the 13th, um, 2021, and I just wanted to, um, really talk about a few things, um, and share some scripture, uh, with everyone about the earth dying. So sin is killing the earth. It is, it is decaying, it is dying. Um, and I just wanted to talk about that because, um, yeah, that's been happening. That's what's happening. Uh, God controls the weather. And that is very clear. Um, that's said over and over in scripture, how he controls the weather. But the, the mainstream, you know, weather channels and I'm mean, not even just mainstream, just basic People don't normally talk about it. <laughs> they don't They don't talk about it in the weather channels. They don't bring it up. They don't say anything about God um, at all. It's, you know, Mother Nature or global warming or climate change. Um, all those things that they bring up, but they don't, you know, make it clear that it's the Lord God of Israel that controls the weather. And... And there's so many things that have been happening around the world. And I'm sure everyone notices all the volcanoes going off, um, the storms, you know, they're pretty much getting worse. Um, I've been seeing a lot of tornadoes that are very violent. I mean, tearing stuff up, tearing stuff up. Um, and, and sin is, is, is the big problem here on the earth and um and god is warning god is warning us and and letting us know that his son is coming back jesus christ is coming and time is running out our days are numbered and the earth is dying and um so i just want to share some scripture about that um I had a dream too, but uh, I don't know. I might share that. I've I've shared it before on my videos, but um, Second Peter three seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment um so yeah I just want to point out some scriptures you know that the the earth is is going to burn up um right here first John 2 first John 2 17 um and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. So the earth is passing away. The world is passing away. And I'm going to go to um, Luke. Luke 21, 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So the earth is passing away because of sin. Because of the sin is so heavy on earth. The transgression is, is so heavy on earth that the earth is dying. The earth belongs to God. It's his. And God is pure and perfect and holy and righteous and just and pure love. He is amazing, precious love. 
and sin has got to go. Sin has got to go. Um, so I just hope that people turn to Jesus with their whole heart and, and it's time for us to turn from sin, turn from sin, turn from wickedness. Jesus is the only one who can save us. Jesus Christ, the son of God, he's the only one that can save us. We can't save ourselves. Religion can't save us. Man can't save us. Only Jesus can. I want to share one more scripture. Isaiah 24, 19 and 20. The earth is utterly broken. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be moved, removed like a cottage. The transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall, and it shall not rise again, and not rise again. So the earth is dying because of sin is so heavy, and um, I just wanted to make this video because I know that, you know, we don't hear about that in the news. I mean, when they do the news on you know the weather and everything that's happening they don't state or make it clear that god controls the weather um and that you know the sin is is killing the earth and the earth is going to be yeah the earth is going to fall and um god makes it very clear right here in the scripture it's going to fall and not rise again and the earth is passing away because of sin and it's time to turn to Jesus. Like, no wasting no time. Like, time is running out. Um, turn to Jesus with your whole heart right now. Please, I urge you that if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please believe the gospel and turn to him with your whole heart. And never look back, please. Uh, Jesus Christ is, is the truth. John 14, 6, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father, but by him. Only Jesus can save us. So please, I urge you today that if you do not know him, please, please turn to him with your whole heart. And, um, you know, it's time to, you know, pick up our cross and follow Jesus and never look back. There, there's nothing on this earth worth losing him for. And um, the devil is out there deceiving people left and right. I mean, it's, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible, the lies. The lies that are here that have got people's minds and eyes completely blinded by his lies. And um, this is Lucifer world. You know, he's got his hand in everything. I mean, here in America, he has his own series, his own Lucifer series. He has his own video game where you can pick your torture for people. Uh, his own holiday. He has his own holiday here in America. They name food and the weather after him. And it's just crazy. It's insane. And um, so, yeah, just, I mean, God tells us, you know, to not love the world and, and don't love the things of the world. Um, because it's, it's not of him. And, um, yeah, right here in first John two, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the father, but of the world. So please, turn to Jesus today. Please don't waste any time. Jesus loves you. He loves us with our whole, he loves us with his whole heart. And um, we're living in the last days. We don't know the day, the minute, the hour. Jesus makes that clear. But 
he tells us to watch and to pray and to be ready. And, um, and the signs of the times are everywhere. You know, there, there's so many things that are happening and God is warning. Um, it's time to repent and turn from wickedness. And Jesus is coming back. So I just wanted to make this and get this out there and I hope it helps and if anyone needs prayer if you need anything just don't hesitate to message give me a message whatever um, I'm here I love each and every one of y'all and I hope each and every one turns to Jesus with their whole heart his time is running out and Jesus is coming soon and um, we're living in the last days. And our days are numbered. And sin is heavy on the earth. And the earth is dying. Um, so the dream I had, it's been a while back, a couple of years. Uh, and I've shared it before. But Jesus showed me... Um, literally that the earth is dying so um i'm not going to go through the whole dream i'm gonna just share the part where he showed me that the earth was was decaying it felt like it was decaying like it was dying um so me and him were sitting on kind of like a like a pew thing and he was sitting in the front of it and he was focused he was completely focused on this beautiful butterfly and it's what it looked like a beautiful beautiful butterfly and it was in different colors um and I was sitting kind of in the middle of the pew kind of looking at him and looking at this butterfly and we were fenced in from it we were separated from the butterfly but I could see it like I was witnessing all this he was focused on it I was crying, like just weeping, crying. And I look and I see this butterfly is decaying, it's dying. And he was completely focused on it. Like he did not take his eyes off of it, not once. And I just remember I was crying, just just crying so hard, crying so bad. And I can feel and see that this butterfly is decaying, it's dying. And um, then all of a sudden, I just felt this peace, this peace come over me and like everything was okay. Um, like I was, I was with him, so everything was okay. Um, so I, I know now that the butterfly was the earth. It represented the earth and that the earth is dying because of sin. Because sin is heavy. And um, just get in his word, get in God's word and read it, you know, for yourselves and and see, see for yourselves. And um, I love y'all. And if anybody needs anything, just let me know. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye.